Well, good morning, everyone. Miss Sunshine Locksmith Eddie coming to you live right here, right now in a cloudy South Florida as things are taking place. That's right. Things are always taking place down here with Mr. Sunshine Locksmith Eddie in every way, shape, or form. And uh, what we have here is a Sergeant in Greenleaf 6730 safe lock. And uh, what we have to do is repair it. Uh, we actually picked up a safe yesterday down in Miami. Uh, we had to get it open, and now what we're doing is going ahead and pulling the wheel pack out so that we can uh, make sure that the wheels and everything that are here are all in good shape and everything will be operating according to plan. So uh, what we're doing right now is we're just dissecting the uh, lock. There's a spacer there. We then go ahead and pull the second wheel out. There you go, like that. We then have the drive wheel back here. This is actually going to come out just like this. And there you have it. We have our wave washer down here. There's our wave washer. This is our spring that holds the locking bar down. This actually brings it down once the wheels are all in line. So well, what we're going to do right now is we're going to set this aside and we're going to check these wheel packs. We're going to make sure that the uh, wheel packs are situated in so far as they are ready to go so that we can change the combination on it. And uh, this particular one is not. So uh, we have our safe deposit or safe change keys. We're going to go ahead and use the uh, number three. These are a set of safe change keys. These are the keys that you use to change the uh, locks. Now there's hand change, and this is the safe change. So uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and straighten this out to get this back to where it has to be. And it's going to go in there just like that. All right, so that one would be situated into the proper position. Let me make sure it's straight. You can see there's a little mark here to the mark there. So that's in line. That's where it should go. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put that one back in. You can see this right here. There's a wave washer down here. You want to make sure that that wave washer is there. We go ahead. Now these are solid brass. Look at the precision of these. These are all brass. Uh, there's a little fly right there. That's where it catches in order for that to go. Now we're going to check this one here. Let's see this one here. See, this one's running, sp spinning, so we can't have that. Oop. This is actually going to go on here as such. That's the flying. And then have this. There's a little spline on there. There's your spline right there. That like, only goes on one way, just like that. We're going to go ahead now, and we're going to turn this back. Oh. This is actually going to sit here like this. That's our little fly there. That's what turns it after it's in the position. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn this back. Where's that little spider? There it is. Right to there. There it is. Nice and tight. The way it's supposed to be. This is actually going to go ahead and fit right down onto here. And such like that see that we then go ahead and put our next one on there so if you have a safe at home uh, this is actually what the inside of the lock looks like uh, if it's this brand uh, naturally you can go ahead and see this we're going to make sure that this one is locked in though which it's not so you can see right there you see how this is off there it is here, there it is there. We gotta go ahead and turn this back to the position. I'm gonna actually just use our change key. And there it is, now it's locked in. You see the arrow right there? Now you see this will not turn, and that's what we want. We don't want that to turn. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick that back on there. As such. And there we have it, there you go. There's your wheel pack. As this, we're going to pull the spring out of here for right now. 
As the wheel pack turns, it pulls all the wheels. You see the wheels in there? Once those wheels line up, we'll just use it for a generic uh, space for right now. I'll show you right here. There's, there's the space right there. You see that hole right there? We then go ahead and turn the wheels. One, two, there's the next wheel right there. You can see that's lined up. And then when you turn the dial back the other way, like that, there you go. You got a perfect lined up wheels. You would then, well, this, it would actually be up on top for this piece here to drop down in. Once it drops in, you turn the hand the dial more, it pulls the bolt back, and boom, you'd have your safe lock open. So there it is. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this back together now and uh, put it back in the safe. As a matter of fact, this was the safe that we opened yesterday. Uh, is right here. This is a MyLink safe. You can see it right here. There it is, MyLink. We opened it. There was nothing in it. Uh, but we needed to get it open. So we have no damage to the outside door. This is the inner plate. Here is your deadlock. If somebody tried to punch the lock out, if you if somebody takes the dial and punches the lock through, uh, it would release this and then this right here. You see this right here? See that? Flaps down and now it locks the bolts as you won't be able to open it now. You'll have to go in there and get this pulled back in order to get the door open. So that's the relocker on a MyLink. So you're getting the opportunity to see that firsthand. You can see the bolts here off to the side. This is the bolt that it's, once the door shuts, then it's able to release and lock the door. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back together. We have some keys in the drawer here. So uh, we're gonna show you exactly what it's all about here once I get it all done. I hope you enjoyed that, Mr. Sunshine. Locksmith Daddy coming to you live in sunny South Florida.